this live prepper self-defense tool video. I'm gonna show you how to fight like Morgan from The Walking Dead or Fear the Walking Dead using one of the most basic, simple prepper self-defense tools, the hiking stick or the walking stick, the hiking staff. It's very simple. This is based on an Aikido Joe, which is a medium length martial arts staff. But we're gonna use it in very practical ways. We're not gonna get very martial arts with it. We're just gonna hit people with it and I'm gonna show you how to do the most basic, powerful techniques that you can use for self-defense. This is something you can carry with you wherever you go. And you immediately have something that you can employ in the action of self-defense with a lot of power. You get both hands on it. You can thrust through the middle. You can strike down over the top. You can come from the back side, from the front side. You can blast them right through the middle. It's very simple. It's very effective. It's just basically a walking stick, but it's one of the best self-defense prepper tools that you can get. If that's something that you've thought about, it's just like Morgan from The Walking Dead, and you have to um, immediately address a whole group of attackers, and a whole group of walkers, or maybe it's not zombies, maybe it's a group of thugs, a group of punks. More than one person, you have something that's going to maximize your ability to thrust, strike one person, another come through this way, hit multiple areas stop without having to stop. It flows really well when you practice the basics. I want you to warm up though. I'm gonna show you this first. You're just turning from side to side, get blood into the joint. This is also gonna build your grip. When you start to defend yourself with a walking stick like Morgan from The Walking Dead, you have to have strong, powerful wrists. If you think about the whole purpose of preparing so you don't have to panic, preparing so you don't perish, you want to train not just your survival skills, your fire making skills, your water purification skills, your hunting and gathering, but also your personal safety and self-defense skills. How do you protect the people around you? There are multiple levels and different tools that you'll use. Some that are more um, obvious than others, but this is one of those basic things. You can have a stick near you wherever you go. You can have it on you all the time and you're always ready to immediately employ with swiftness, speed, power, strike with accuracy. If you've properly trained, this is a big part of that preparation. You've got to start by twisting your stick, getting that range of motion, but also building power in your grip. You don't want to have it come out of your hand when you strike. Now this moving from side to side is then followed by moving from hand to hand. This is going to increase the range of motion. It's also going to force you to pull your stomach up and in. This is good for your posture. This is going to make you fighting fit. Just going side to side and do each one of those motions for about 30 seconds. Now I have one more spin before we're done, but it's a spin you're going to use like Morgan from The Walking Dead. If you use this prepper self-defense tool, this basic hiking stick or walking stick, you're going to turn and strike. Bringing this up, it comes very quickly. I have the two head bags that we use here when we practice boxing or self-defense. We do a lot of unarmed combat in this room. These are just targets. This doesn't move much. This offers a lot of resistance. Builds a lot of that power, especially when we're doing elbows. This is full of 100 pounds of water. And so it also, when you punch it, simulates striking the head. So these are two perfect bags for us to practice with this basic self-defense prepper tool. You're gonna turn your hand over so that the pinky side is facing the sky. As you do that, you're also extending your arm straight. You're turning your hand over, the arm is extending. That's going to force the back end of this hiking stick or this Aikido Joe into the head or the face or the eyes or the top of the head or maybe into the arm and the shoulder of your, the person you're trying to defend yourself from. You have to immediately address the attack. You don't have time to hesitate or wait. It's one of the fastest, simplest things you can do. And it comes in really hard and it will break bones for self-defense, especially with this Hickory self-defense staff. This is a special staff made to my specifications. It's the first link below. If you wanna see it, to buy it yourself. Or like I always say, invest your time before you invest your money. Look at the dimensions, then go make your own. There's no rule that doesn't say it says you can't make your own self-defense tool. In fact, if you're a proper prepper, you probably already make a lot of your own preparation 
tools and self-defense tools should be on that list. So from here, I want you to extend the arm, turn the wrist over so the thumb is facing the ground, the pinky is facing the sky. That's going to bring it to the opposite side of your body and then bring it back. This spin for self-defense, it, it doesn't look like much until you, again, until you hit something with it and then you realize just how fast and powerful that is. It's also hard to defend against if you're the bad guy, you're a walker, Morgan's coming up and he takes this motion. This is a real traditional Aikido Joe move, which is where Morgan's style comes from in the TV series, Fear the Walking Dead or The Walking Dead. It's based on the Aikido Joe. But this is the basic way that you practice getting strength in that motion. Uh, power in the forearm, power in your grip. It's extending the arm, turning the hand, and then you see, see that my shoulders and hips are turning over. And hello to Garen, hello to Cincy Emmett, hello to everybody. Um, Cincy Emmett, it's good to see you. I saw that you just said you just gave a self-defense class. So go check out Cincy Emmett's channel. He's got a great channel here. He always has great interviews and self-defense tools tactics, ideas that you can use if you're a self-defense prepper. So you're turning from side to side. Do that for about 30 seconds. The way you go into the other hand, you simply want to cover your hand, remove it, put it into this hand, get in the habit of changing from hand to hand this way so that you keep a good firm grip on your self-defense staff, on the walking stick for self-defense. You want to learn how to fight like Morgan from The Walking Dead? Learn how not to drop your staff. That's the first part, right? No staff, you're in big trouble. Now you gotta go hand to hand and if they bite you, it's done, right? That's the whole premise of that show. But in self-defense preparation, we're talking about real world, you still, you certainly don't wanna drop your staff, especially if it's multiple attackers. Now, I, we talked about how this is a fast, effective, powerful strike. I wanna talk about three ways to get the stick into a better position for self-defense. The first one is gonna be pointing the thumb so that as you point the thumb, good afternoon, Matthew, point the thumb right at the threat. I'm gonna say, this is a walker from the show, Fear the Walking Dead, the reboot, the new one that's got Morgan, they brought him back. He's coming at me, I pointed his head, and I'm going to thrust like a pull cue, right? I'm just going through my hand, I'm doing this ski motion, Japanese word, but I'm just turning and thrusting. I want to keep him as far away as possible. This is the first way to hit him. Just thrust through here. Now in this position, I want you to pull to your shoulder and strike down. Practice this type of strike. After you've done this for about 30 seconds, slide your hand up, push it down through the other hand, and then punch forward and practice this horizontal strike coming across the temple. The basic rule of self-defense if you can knock them out, you don't have to worry about what other weapons they might have. For self-defense, you can turn off their operating system with a strike. That's going to be your technique. So I'm going to have you stand behind it, point the thumb, thrust, strike, pull it back here, and now come down on top. And if you want, you can put those together in combination, bring the back hand forward. You can also push in this position, blasting straight through the middle of their face. The second way I want you to get into a better position is from the back hand. The front hand, I point it and I thrust. Immediately, don't hesitate, address the threat. In the back hand, lift. From here, it's almost like I'm touching my own temple or my head here, right above the ear. My elbow is dropped in, it's gonna bring it into this other hand. Now I've got two hands on it again. If I wanna thrust there, right through the middle. Simple, powerful, effective thrusting strike. Coming through here, I'm gonna be able to do that motion. Then I'm gonna slide this hand forward, bring it through, and that strike you practiced in that last combination, here's that other strike in that same combination, and then down on top. You can also bring it up under his chin, smashing his jaw into his self-defense. And his face, teeth pop out, right? Knock his back so fast, lights out. Fight's over, you win for self-defense. So in this backhand lift, thrust, angular strike, horizontal strike, vertical down, 
vertical up, and then again, one of my favorite techniques is two hands right through the middle of the face. This hard piece of hickory is coming through and it hits soft tissue or it hits fragile, hits vital spots. You're gonna get for the neck, you wanna turn off their ability to see you, knock them out completely, ability to breathe temporarily, permanently for self-defense. You can thrust this right into the solar plexus, a little bit lower between the belly button and the groin, right into the groin, and then you can, all these angles or all these strikes can be done at different levels, right? Either higher or lower for self-defense. Now the third way you're gonna carry your stick for self-defense, if you're Morgan from The Walking Dead, you might just be walking along, holding it like this. From here, you can immediately pull it up like a spear from the Zulu Nation, right? You pull it up, man, that was formative when I was a kid. I remember, maybe it was a TV movie series. It came out, something about the Zulu, the Zulu warriors, right? From the Maasai, they're running along the plane. they got these long spears. And all the damage they're able to do with great accuracy and power because they got a big long stick in their hand. That's you, like Morgan from The Walking Dead. So from here, just carrying your hand, you can bring it up here, you can bring it up. Think about bringing it up into the throat, jaw, face. Just a simple, quick, effective, Powerful strike, yeah, Shaka Zulu, Garen says. Think about the spear without throwing it, just striking this way, but then by turning your palm up, you get it in that other hand and you have all these same strikes from before or turn it down here, kind of like a push-up position, striking down, thrusting, bringing it through, thrusting like a rifle bayonet attack or a rifle butt attack. And then again, my favorite, blasting him right through the middle. Like I said before, if you can knock them out, you wanna do that. You wanna do that as soon as fast as possible by simply blasting right into the face for self-defense. And it was like, if you're Morgan from The Walking Dead, you wanna fight like Morgan from The Walking Dead with this simple prepper self-defense walking stick or the prepper self-defense tool, you have to go for the head. You have to, that's the only way you can take them out in that scenario, right? But the funny thing is, even though that's a fantasy TV show, it has, that's a good principle. You don't know if the guy's got, if, for, if we're talking real life situations, does he got a knife, does he have a gun? Does he have two or three buddies? One getting ready to run up behind you and smash you with a rock? That happened just down the street a couple days ago. Guy gets out of his car, middle of the day, goes to buy a smoothie at the smoothie shop. Two guys run out, bam, lights out. Beat him into a pulp, take his $6, $6 they got from this guy, right? What's the world coming to? The world's always been like this. The point is, Prepare or panic. That's what we're here for. Learn how to use your self-defense prepping walking tool or walking stick or your self-defense prepping tools. You have, you know, water source. You have a fire source. You have to uh, be able to make some shelter. You should know how to hunt or gather or both. Better at both. You should know how to fish. You should know how to sew up your own clothes. You should know how to sew up a wound. You should know how to treat wounds. You should take some courses or at least take them online through YouTube. They're all free, right? Learn how to get a good safety or a medical kit. Carry it with you in the car. Carry it with you in your get home bag. Carry it with you in your bug out bag. You have all of these things that you're preparing for. Why not prepare to defend yourself? It's one of the funniest things. People say, well, I've got this. That's all I need. What happens to you when you run out of the, the things that go in that, right? Or it jams or you don't know how to use it because you didn't properly prepare. You should also know how to fight hand to hand, a little unarmed combat. And then all the different tools that exist in the environment around you. Learn how to be versatile. Be a pro proper prepper. Be a positive prepper. Learn how to do this. Yeah, learn how to sew a balloon. Yeah. They have these new sewing kits where you can learn how to sew up, uh, create a different sutures, right? Depending on what kind of laceration that you might encounter if you come upon like a car accident or when SHTF stuff hits the fan. You know, there's, you can't get the medical help right away and you've got to sew up yourself or a loved one. You can buy these little kits that simulate skin and practice your sewing. Practice and it teaches you in the book. This is this kind of suture, the other kind of suture. I got one of those coming. So yeah, and do this, yeah, or you can do the same thing with leather. Good point, Shake Skin. Anyway, you guys have been awesome. We're going to do more of this. We have an online self-defense class, martial arts class tomorrow, unarmed combat, number three in the series if you've been working out with us. Yeah, Matthew says advanced first aid. Carry the first aid kit even if you don't have the skills to use it all the way or the experience or the knowledge or the physical ability because you never know when someone around you will say, well, I'm an EMT or I was a medic in the army 
or I'm a nurse or I'm a doctor. I wish I had, you know, like, well, here you go. I don't know how to use it. You use it. I'm like, oh, that's great. And then they open it up. They know how to use it. If you have it, someone can use it, whether it's you or not. If you don't have it, no one's going to use it. Anyway, you guys have been awesome. I'll see you in just a little bit. Thank you.